Welcome, this is William Ahrens or aka Mushu. Uh, I'm going to be creating this video. I'm going to show you how to create uh, your own Jarvis like application in C Sharp. Uh, I have another YouTube channel I posted my Jarvis software on, and everyone's wanted examples and wanted to know how to do this. So now I'm finally getting around it. I've got a base program here that uh, I built to show you guys uh, how to do Jarvis. Um, and I got it from a code project, or I started from a code project here uh, by Patrick. I took his XAML WPF app, stripped it down to a console, added in the Jarvis functionality, the speech synthesizer so it'll talk back to you, and I uh, a few other things. And just basically, uh, I'm gonna link to this article, I'm gonna link to my other Jarvis video and I'm going to link to the code for this so you guys can make just take this and run with it, make your own Jarvis or whatever. Uh, and one, if you do, I'd love to see what you guys create. Share uh, your code, your examples, or videos with me. Just send me a message or comment below what you did with it. Uh, I'd love to see that. So let's get started. Um, this isn't going to be a, like a real in-depth how-to. I'm just going to go over some finer points of it, show you how to... Uh, work with the software and all that and then I'm gonna let you guys run with it. So first off, let's start with the using statements. Uh, so right here are the two major ones, the system.speech recognition and synthesis. The recognition allows it us to capture voice and react and the synthesis allows us to uh, have it talk back to us. Now to, these uh, use the system.speech so make sure you add that to your references in your project or else you'll run some problems. Uh, so what we have here is a simple voice file with our commands in it. Um, there's shell commands and then there's just simple text commands. Uh, Patrick set up most of the project here. I just moved it over to a console app and added in the certain functionalities which I'll show below. Um, so we got our speech recognition engine object, our speech synthesizer, our list of words that we're going to be adding to our choices, which then go into our grammar. Um, last command, I use this to track the very last command you sent to Jarvis. Um, so if you say Jarvis quit, the program will shut down. Uh, anywhere below, I, I didn't implement this, but anywhere below, if you replace AI name with the hard-coded Jarvis word, you can rename the software to anything. You could be Fred and tell Fred to do whatever. I didn't get. I'll, I may do that in the final software, but uh, maybe not. So let's go through it. Um, this is just a basic C sharp console app. There's a here. I have a class called Jarvis Driver, and inside of Jarvis Driver is a start method which kicks off the cons or Jarvis, and he keeps the console alive. So up here uh, in the try statement, we have the speech recognition engine, and we set it up for English and the U.S. Um, at all kinds of locales here. Probably is probably best to set it up for the default locale of the computer. That way, whatever user it, it'll work for them, no matter. Um, anyways, that's just a thought. Next, I hook into the speech recognized event handler. Um, so we we hook up or wire up the event here. So every time the mic picks up any speech, this fires off. And this method, uh, I modified this from Patrick's example. Um, so like here, I automatically add in Jarvis. So it's in the choices. It's in the text that uh, Jarvis knows. And then uh, here he reads in the lines from the examples.txt. Then looping over, ignore any comment or empty lines. We split on the bar. And then from there, we get the, uh, we build up a word initialize a new word object and use the split or the the array and initialize each property of the word and then we add that to the choices or the text object so from there we initialize a grammar object which then takes in a grammar builder which takes in our list of choices and then we take and load the grammar object into the speech recognition engine so it knows these words by using the load grammar method. Uh, what I added in so we could do multiple word commands and dictations is the dictation grammar. So here I initialize a dictation grammar object 
and then I pass that in through Load Grammar. So it also it also allows us to get a dictation back and not just those words and the file. Um, so I'll skip this method because this one down here, this is a speech recognized event that fires off every time the mic catches something. So every time it catches any text in the event or the speech recognized event argu arguments, it, we can pull that out, send it into our method above here. So get known text or execute. So what I've added here is does the command start with Jarvis? If it doesn't, return nothing. If the command does start with Jarvis, strip Jarvis out of the command, then print the command to the console. And then here we look through the words and we find what matches that command and then we say is it a shell command? Because each word has these properties. So is a shell command. Uh, if it is, we come down here, we create a new process, um, set up its properties, tell it what to do, and then we tell it start. And then I re always record the last command so we can know when to quit. I hard coded in this Easter egg here. Um, it's from my other video, um, but it, it should be fun. Anyways, it'll return the command with I've started. Um, if it's not a shell command, it just does, it captures the last command and then it'll return the attached text of the word object. So now that's pretty much the gist of it there. That's all there is. This is a bare bones Jarvis example so you can get going. Uh, so let's try it out. Jarvis, WordPad. I've started WordPad. I've, I've got the speech synthesis rate at negative five. It's probably a little too slow. Jarvis, calculator. I've started calculator. Jarvis, do you like me? You make me. I kind of have two. You can install different uh, text-to-speech engines so it sounds better. Uh, mine's pretty crappy, but it says, do you like me? And it's, you made me, I kind of have to, is what they said. Jarvis, I have a burn victim. Fetching list of burn centers for you, sir. Oh, thank you, Jarvis. Jarvis, quit. Now that I think about it, Jarvis is a female, or sounds female. Anyways, the program closed out. Um, so, yeah. There it is. I'm going to share the code below, um, the link to the project code project below, and the link to my other Jarvis video, which I'm, I'm probably going to download and upload to this channel. Um, but there you guys go. Sorry it took me so long to get this out. Uh, but if you enjoyed the video, uh, give me a like and subscribe. Uh, and I can't wait to see what you guys do with it. Have fun.